Hello everyone, this is DA from e Academy, and today this video is about the proof of the Bessel inequality. So let's start with the statement of this inequality. Let V be an inner product space and and we have this orthonormal sequence E K from K varying from 1 to infinity and for all elements of the inner product space so Bessel inequality states that summation of the inner product of these values that are taken from the orthonormal sequence E K and that V element of the inner product space square that is less than the norm of that element of the inner product space square. So this is true for all of the elements uh, from the inner product space. So this is the statement now. So now let's start the proof. Let h is equal to sum of inner product of e, k and v. That is an element of the inner product space where that vary from 1 to n. So we have named this only for the sake of simplicity. So this is h and if we are going to take the norm of it, there is norm of h square is equal to the inner product of h with itself so we can now substitute the value of h this so we have substituted the value of h that was written on the above side that h is equal to sum of inner product of e k with v an element of the inner product space and then multiplication with it e k so this will be simplified by because these are the same terms we can write it as a square of the terms so the sum sum k vary from 1 to infinity e k inner product of e k with b square and the norm of e k square we know that e k is the identity the square must be equal to 1 so we will replace it with 1 or we can write it as this so this thing this whole thing is equal to norm of h square now for each element of the inner product space we can write this thing that the norm of that element of the inner product space v that this is true for every element of this inner product space so this is the element of the inner product space and this is h that is h so because the norm is always positive and it can't be negative so that is why this is greater than or equal to zero so now we will use this definition of a, uh, of the norm and the inner product again here and we will write it as that inner product of v minus h with itself and then v into v that inner product of v with itself we get norm of v norm of v squared and then inner product of v with h and then h with v then it will be minus two times inner product of v and h and then the last inner product of h with h and there is a negative sign negative negative positive so inner product of h square norm of h square so now what what should we do in order to manipulate it we will put the value of h in this inner product so we have used the value of h from the above thing that this is equal to this expression now this will be manipulated again as this thing norm of v squared minus 2 times norm of h squared plus norm of h squared so this this can be now manipulated again so we can get the norm of v squared minus norm of h squared because this whole thing is greater than or equal to zero so if we can move this from the other side of inequality this thing implies that norm of h square is less than or equal to norm of v squared so if this thing happens and we know that the norm of h square is equal to that summation of k varying from 1 to n e k and v so we will substitute the value of a norm of h square here so this is the value that if for the norm of h square and that is this thing so this is not now the Bessel inequality because in the Bessel inequality we have k vary from 1 to infinity here. So this can be made as k from 1 to infinity by taking n goes to infinity from the sequence of the orthonormal elements. So this is true for the Bessel inequality if we suppose that n is from 1 to infinity. By basically using the orthonormal sequence by using the inner product space and by using norm and the interrelation of norm and the inner product so this is for now looking for most of the videos then you can subscribe this channel and you know, to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye